You don't choose who you like, your brain already did it for you. In this video, we'll uncover the surprising signs behind attraction and how your brain makes decisions without your input. Ready to find out who's really pulling the strings? Let's dive in! You think you're choosing who to fall for. Cute. Let me guess, you once had a crush on someone totally wrong for you? Maybe your friend's friend? Your boss? Or that one barista who never remembered your name but smiled just enough to mess you up for weeks? So next time you think this must be fate, maybe ask yourself if it's just adrenaline and bad lighting in the bar? So now that we've destroyed the illusion of free will in your life, let's get technical. Your brain doesn't have one system for love, it has three. And they don't always get along. First up, lust. This is pure biology. Feelings fueled by hormones like testosterone and estrogen, it doesn't care about personality, goals or red flags. It wants reproduction, or at least rehearsal. Then comes attraction. That can't stop thinking about them phase? That's dopamine. Norepinephrine and low serotonin doing a rave in your brain? Obsession, insomnia and butterflies included. Finally, attachment, the long game system. Driven by oxytocin and vasopressin, it's what makes you want to stay, nest, Netflix, and remember to buy almond milk. The kicker, these systems can activate separately. You can lust after one person, obsess over another, and feel safe with a third. Congratulations, you're a walking love triangle. So what actually happens inside your brain when you're falling in love? Spoiler, it looks a lot less like a rom-com and a lot more like a coke habit. In the attraction phase, your dopamine levels spike big time. That's the same reward chemical triggered by gambling, sugar or drugs. It makes the person feel special, magical, destined. Even if they just coded Fight Club and often to succulents. And here's the twist. Serotonin. The chemical that helps you stay calm and rational drops, which is why you're texting them at 2.13 am and overanalyzing emoji choices like your sanity depends on it. Add unpredictable rewards, like mixed signals or hot and cold behavior, and your brain gets even more hooked. It's not love, it's your brain binge watching a relationship that hasn't even started. So if love feels like a chemical high, why does your brain keep picking the wrong people? Your early experiences with caregivers literally shape your love map. What feels safe, familiar, or even exciting? And spoiler, sometimes what's familiar is also toxic. A landmark study on attachment theory by Hazen and Shaver in 1987 found that people tend to form romantic bonds based on the same attachment styles that developed in childhood. If you grew up with unpredictability, emotional distance or chaos, your brain might now crave that same chaos in adult relationships. Not because it's good, but because it's known. You're not falling for someone who feels right, you're falling for someone who feels familiar. And sometimes, that's just a rerun of childhood pain with better lighting and more texting. You thought childhood wiring was snaky? Wait till you hear how simply seeing someone over and over can trick your brain into thinking it's love. It's called the mere exposure effect, and it's exactly what it sounds like. The more often you see a person, the more you tend to like them. Familiarity feels safe and your brain is lazy. That's why office crushes, school romances and gym flirtations happen so easily. Your brain isn't falling in love, it's getting used to a face. And then it goes, Well, I've seen this person 27 times this week. Must be destiny. But it's not just habit, your brain also runs a silent beauty checklist, and it's weirdly consistent across cultures. Time to talk symmetry, skin and survival instincts. First off, facial symmetry. Multiple studies show that people rate symmetrical faces as more attractive. Why? Because symmetry is a potential sign of genetic health. Evolution doesn't care about your type, it cares about offspring. Then there is skin clarity and posture. Clear skin and upright body posture signal health and vitality. Your brain notices this even if you consciously don't. Bottom line, part of your taste is actually just your DNA trying to shop for strong genes. But what if you could outsmart your brain and find your ideal match using math? Yeah, we made a whole video about that, links in the description. So now you know your brain is checklists, patterns and chemical addictions. But what about the timing? 
Why do some connections hit like lightning and others grow slowly, quietly, and still end up meaning everything? The truth is, not all attraction is instant. Some of the deepest relationships start as, meh, that spark you're waiting for, it's not the only path to love. Psychologists call it the slow burn, affection that builds over time, usually through trust, shared experiences, and consistent emotional safety. It's not fireworks, it's a campfire, and it lasts. Instant chemistry, on the other hand, can burn fast and die faster. It's exciting, sure, but it can be fueled more by novelty and dopamine than by real connection. So, if someone didn't wow you on the first interaction, don't write them off yet. Real connection sometimes takes time and a second look. But let's be real, not every slow burn leads to true love. Sometimes your brain skips the campfire and runs straight into a forest fire. Studies show that people with dark traits, narcissism, psychopathy, often get rated as more attractive for short-term relationships. Why? Confidence, boldness, risk-taking. These traits scream strong genes to your primitive brain, even if your logical brain is screaming run. So if you found yourself crushing on someone who feels like a bad idea, congratulations. Your evolutionary wiring is firing on all cylinders. Doesn't mean you should date them, it just means your brain still thinks it's 10,000 BC. But sometimes, it's not even about confidence or danger, it's just something. The person makes no logical sense, and it still hijacks your brain like a surprise software update. Psychologists call this the X Factor, unpredictable, illogical attraction that defies your usual patterns. Sometimes it's timing, sometimes it's vulnerability, sometimes it's just chaos. And suddenly, all the checklists, height, career, Spotify playlists, disappear. You feel something deeper, something real. Science can't always explain it, but if it works, if it heals something in you, maybe it doesn't need to. Let's be honest, you don't choose your crush, your brain made that decision three seconds after they smiled. Dopamine, childhood baggage, office proximity, it's not fate, it's a glitchy algorithm with attachment issues. But hey, knowing how the system works, that's your cheat code. So tell us, when was the last time you caught feelings for someone totally wrong? Leave a comment below, subscribe for more psychological sabotage, and see you next time.